Nazar Bozinski is an associate professor of the Kharkiv National University of Construction and Architecture. However, at the same time, he is a kopza, a type of bard which keeps Ukrainian songs and traditions alive. He took up playing bandura, a plucked string folk instrument, as a kid. Later, he learned the craft of making these instruments by himself. His background helped him to learn how to create precise schematics for woodwork. Since 2016, I completed this bandura. It is a copy of the one that Kobzar Mikhailo Kravchenko Mirhorodsky had. The original is stored in the St. Petersburg Conservatory. It was made in 1840. Nazar also has a lyra crafted on the basis of a design of an old instrument he saw in Kamianets Podilsky. Making this instrument was a complicated process, which is why he made the first version of it from cardboard and only later used wood. This instrument, unlike the bandura, is made from separate pieces of wood. The wooden parts are then bended to fit the instrument's shape. Bandura and the kobza are made from a whole piece of wood. A lira, just like bandura, is made from willow, maple or linden. The cheapest liras were made from less quality pine, but their sound is poor. Nazar's apartment also functions as his workshop, but there's no machinery of any sorts, since all of the instruments are crafted by hand. He performs using his self-made instruments. His hobby of being a kobzar has defined multiple aspects of his life, including his clothing, haircut and lifestyle. Kharkiv had a lot of kobzars hundred years ago. Many of them were killed, some died natural deaths. But the understanding that Kobzal culture is vital to being Ukrainian stayed in Kharkiv. And while in Kyiv and Lviv it is perceived as a tourist thing, a tourist trap or a performance, here in Kharkiv it is seen as something customary. Even Poltava doesn't have that. Nazar has one goal, restoring the Kobza movement in Ukraine. That is why he's training people to play Bandora, Kobza and Lyra. Right now, Nazar is preparing for a big festival that is being held in Kiev in summer. He is planning to bring new instruments, among them a tambourine that he spent 10 years on making. Reported by Natalia Belokudra for UETV.